During the Space Shuttle program, several missions were cancelled. Many were cancelled as a result of the Challenger and the Columbia disasters. Many early missions were cancelled due to delays in the development of the shuttle. Others were cancelled because of changes in payload and missions requirements. Topic. Canceled due to the late development of the shuttle In 1972, NASA's planners had projected for 570 shuttle missions between 1980 and 1991. Later, this estimate was lowered to 487 launches between 1980 and 1992. The details of the first 23 projected missions, listed in the third edition of Manned Spaceflight Reginald Turnhill, 1978, and the first edition of the STS Flight Assignment Baseline, an internal NASA document published in October 1977, are presented below. Later in the development process, NASA suggested using the first manned space shuttle mission, STS-1, as a suborbital test of the return to landing site (RTLS) flight profile devised for emergency abort scenarios. Columbia would have launched from Kennedy Space Center, then executed a 180-degree turn at a speed of 8,400 kilometers per hour, 5,200 miles per hour, or 6.7 times the speed of sound, in order to land at the Kennedy Space Center runway. The mission was canceled when astronauts refused to fly it, having deemed the plan to be too dangerous. STS-1 Commander John W. Young recalled that, I said no I said let's not practice Russian roulette, because you may have a loaded gun there. So we didn't. <laughs> Topic. Cancelled between the first flight of the shuttle 1981 and the Challenger disaster 1986. Topic. Canceled due to the Challenger disaster Topic. Canceled between 1988 and the Columbia disaster 2003. <laughs> Canceled due to the Columbia disaster <laughs>